CLEAR stands for Community-Led Environmental Action for Regeneration. It's a small charity of local residents. We've been around about 15 years, maybe a decade as a charity. And it's to try and improve the public space in what has been a rather neglected and rundown town. Uh, we extended to Methyl, we started in Buckhaven and extended to Methyl four years ago. But in general, I would say, you know, we've um, made visible changes to the public space around Buckhaven and now you're starting to see it in Methyl. You know, we've planted uh, about 20,000 trees, at least 7,000 fruit trees. We've got orchards all over the place. We run two community gardens, we've got community workshop, for wood and bike. Um, but we also do bits of community art and heritage. So around the town of Buckhaven you find lots of panels and plaques explaining the history of an area because the history is not visible anymore and you find quite uh, quite a bit of interesting small affordable community art the the archways symbolizing the jaw beans the totems story poles uh, shutter sh um, painting of shutters wall murals ceramics bits of that and, and basically that's what we want to do a little more in this project as well. We're delighted to, to be in the first tranche of those receiving funding. We put in a bid for three years funding and essentially that is to roll out this model of basically community placemaking, trying to improve the area, especially in areas that are a bit deprived uh, and linking it especially to the path network that is emerging. It's not in place yet in its final shape, but we feel there is a need to you know, plant trees, shrubs, bulbs, um, enhance certain uh, path access sec sections, and arrange wildflowers. We'll be doing quite a lot, of, a lot of things over three years as part of this. We call it a Buckhaven Methyl Green Network Enhancement. So basically, the paths both on road and off road that connect the key places including the railway stations and we'll try and bring improvements now there's not enough we don't have capacity to do all of these stretches of paths but we will do sections critical sections that are visible and the effect will be like if you come into Buckhaven in the last month it's it's actually quite uplifting to see the you know hundreds of thousands of bulbs brightening up the town after a grey drab winter the place is springing to colour. Go along the braes and you see, you know, myriads of fruit tree blossom. And then to see, you know, the archways and things. So I think it lifts the spirits and maybe it makes it a better place to be. We think the rail link's pivotal. Um, it's always been the strap line that Leavenmouth is the largest urban area in Scotland. By far, had no rail link. And yet we had the uh, mothball rail link five and a half miles there, owned by Direct Network Rail sitting unused for the last 20 years and unused by passengers since 69. So uh, in an area that's been falling down the rankings, if you look at the index of multiple deprivation, the place where I stay is now the seventh most, South Buckhaven, seventh most deprived in Scotland. And it's the same for parts of Methyl around here, you know, they're in the, the most deprived categories. Now the rail will link alone will not change that, but it'll be part of this picture of starting to raise expectations, bringing other opportunities that did not really exist before. To some extent, we're waiting on the the active path network emerging. So our first year will be probably focusing along the main Methylhaven Road artery and some of the bits leading off. We'll do some final work at Savoy, where we have been doing already, but the finalisation, that's a major green space in the centre of Methyl. Um, we, we'll be planting wildflowers there, we're hoping next um, late May or into June. Um, into the autumn, we it's a very seasonal programme, of course. Into the autumn, we'll be doing uh, large-scale bulb planting. Um, we mobilise volunteers for all of these. We, we don't have that many staff. And it's hard to mobilise people in this area for that kind of thing. But it's such a healthy thing to do, you know, you can feel you're getting exercise, fresh air and doing something good for the community. And you can see with bulbs, you can see the results within four months. You know, you can say, I've done that. Planting lots of fruit trees and we'll be looking at where to install the first sets of arches, totems, benches in specific sites for people to start enjoy, you know trying to encourage people to walk around. The surrounds we have are actually remarkably pleasant.
you know, and it's an interesting place to be, despite its reputation. You know, you're looking out on the coast there or down to the river. These are interesting, pleasant environments. So people, local people need to get out of their car, walk, cycle and explore things.